For years, the automotive industry has been nurturing an almost mythical idea, creating an electric car capable of driving 1,000 miles on a single charge. It sounds like the stuff of science fiction, but this goal has been mentioned so many times by engineers, CEOs, and enthusiasts that it has become something of a holy grail of electric mobility. With each new battery promised as revolutionary, the public holds its breath. But so far, nothing with that kind of range has hit the streets. And it's not for lack of trying. The problem is more about turning theory into practice than dreaming too big. It's true that electric cars have come a long way. If we compare a current model with one from 10 years ago, the evolution is striking. They've become faster, more technological, and more efficient. However, even with all this, the 1,000-mile barrier remains intact. Some models can easily surpass the 400 or 500 mile mark, but they're still far from the mythical four digit mark. And so many people ask themselves, is this really possible? The answer is yes, but the path is full of obstacles. Much of the problem lies in the batteries, more specifically in the technology that underpins these batteries. Lithium ion batteries, which dominate the market today, are already at their limit of efficiency. And that's where so-called solid-state batteries come in, which promise more energy in less space. But for now, these promises are just lab work. Producing them on a large scale is still absurdly expensive and complex. Companies like Toyota, for example, have already announced grandiose plans. But so far, nothing concrete has been seen at dealerships. It's one thing to assemble a cell in a lab that delivers incredible numbers. It's quite another to keep those same numbers working under strong sunlight, intense cold, on bumpy asphalt, and after hundreds of recharge cycles. Durability, safety, and the final cost to the consumer are obstacles that still need to be overcome. The public wants autonomy, yes, but they also want something reliable that won't explode in the trunk if the heat gets too much. And this balance is harder than it seems. There is another detail that always appears between the lines. Weight. To reach 1,000 miles with current batteries, it would be necessary to put so much lithium in the car that the vehicle would become extremely heavy. This would require more structure, more energy consumption, and, ironically, would cancel out much of the gain in autonomy. In other words, the plan would backfire. The challenge, then, is not only to increase the available energy, but to do so in an intelligent, lightweight, and functional way. The company in question goes by the name of Cattle, and if you follow the world of electric cars closely, you've probably come across this name a few times. It's the largest battery manufacturer on the planet, responsible for supplying cells for more than 70% of Tesla vehicles, but now, it's taken a step that no one expected so soon. Instead of continuing to rely solely on traditional lithium-ion batteries or time-consuming solid-state projects, Cattle has decided to target an alternative that seemed far away, the lithium metal battery. And the result is simply shocking. What's most impressive about this new battery isn't just its futuristic name or bold promise. It's the absurd energy density it delivers. While the most advanced solid-state batteries reach around 375 Daili Dadwauk, Cattle's easily surpasses 500 Daruz Dadwauk. This means it can store much more energy in the same space, or, if you prefer, deliver the same range while taking up less volume and weight. The jump is 33% compared to the best on the market, and, amazingly, 84% higher than Tesla's own famous 4680 cells. Imagine taking a Tesla Model Y and, without changing anything to the chassis or structure, simply replacing the batteries with these new lithium metal cells. The same car, the same size, now goes hundreds of miles further. That kind of upgrade is a complete game-changer. And that's why Tesla is interested, and more than that, is neck deep in this project. The connection between Elon Musk and cattle is strong and strategic and it could give Tesla an advantage that no competitor will be able to replicate anytime soon. And there's more. 
Unlike many companies that make a living out of making promises and never delivering, Cattle has a different track record. When it announces something, the market pays attention. Because, in general, it delivers. Its innovations usually reach the market within one or two years, which is almost an eternity at the pace of the Internet. But the blink of an eye on an industrial scale. This means that, if this lithium metal battery works as expected, we could see the first cars with it on the streets much sooner than we imagine. And that's scary, in a good way. The secret behind this revolution lies in the way cattle has explored the chemistry of the cell. By replacing the graphite anode with pure metallic lithium, the company has unlocked a new level of efficiency. It's like swapping coal for plutonium, but in a controlled and safe way. This change allows for much more energy to be packed into each gram of battery, creating an incredibly lightweight and powerful system. The craziest thing about all this? This technology hasn't even reached its limit yet. It's just beginning to be explored. The secret of this new battery lies in a detail that may seem small, but that changes everything. The use of pure metallic lithium instead of traditional graphite in the anode. It may seem like just a change of material, but it is a game changer in the internal structure of the battery. Metallic lithium has, theoretically, 10 times more capacity than graphite to store lithium ions. This means that it is possible to store much more energy in the same space. Or, if you prefer, that the same battery volume now yields much more mileage. It seems like magic, but it is pure science applied with precision. With this change, Cattle's engineers were able to achieve an energy density of over $500 WIAG. To give you an idea of what that means, the common LFP batteries used today have around 165 baby dider WIAG. Tesla's 4680 cells, the ones that revolutionized the brand's latest launches, reach 272.odwetch kigers. And even Solid Power's promising solid state batteries only reach 375 In other words, this new lithium ion battery doesn't just surpass them all, it leaves them in the dust. This is a complete game changer for anyone dreaming of an electric car with nearly infinite range. A Model Y with this new 70 kilo battery, for example, could easily reach 600 miles of range without any radical changes to the car's weight. And we're talking about a prototype version. The tendency is that, with the next optimizations, this autonomy will increase even more. And here comes a technical curiosity that is worth its weight in gold. Paddle has developed a quantitative mapping method that allows studying in detail the behavior of the materials inside the cell. This is allowing the exploration of areas previously considered impossible in the formulation of electrolytes and internal components. And the electrolyte, which is basically the transport medium for ions within the cell, was also completely redesigned. Cattle realized that a large part of the failures in lithium metal batteries came from the degradation of this component over time. With each charge and discharge cycle, about 71% of an important salt, lithium bisfluorosulfonyl imidate, was lost. This reduced the battery's useful life. So what did they do? They redesigned the entire composition of the electrolyte using lighter molecules, a higher salt concentration, high ionic conductivity, and lower viscosity. The result? More performance with less mass. This redesign has already doubled the number of cycles the battery can handle. The first prototype could handle 483 cycles. Now, the new versions are close to double that and everything indicates that more advances are to come. Because cattle is using artificial intelligence to fine-tune the chemical formula, testing thousands of possible electrolyte combinations in record time. It's like having a laboratory that never sleeps, adjusting each molecule to achieve the perfect balance between power, durability, and safety. With this level of energy density and the rapid progress of research, Tesla has a rare card in its hands. The direct collaboration with cattle puts Elon Musk's automaker in an extremely advantageous position. While other brands are still trying to find intermediate solutions to improve the performance of their EVs, 
Tesla can simply skip steps with this new technology. And the most impressive thing is that this partnership did not start now. Cattle and Tesla have been exchanging experiences for years, but now this union seems to be on the verge of making history again. The big idea is how this new battery fits into Tesla's philosophy. From the beginning, the company's mission has been to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. But doing this with expensive cars doesn't solve much. That's why Musk has always been obsessed with reducing costs and improving performance. And if there's one technology that fits perfectly with this, it's Cattle's lithium-ion battery. With it, Tesla can deliver more autonomy with less weight, less volume, and, in the future, less cost. Everything an electric car needs to dominate the market. Think about the practical impact of this. A Model Y equipped with a 95 Caddy-Dewant battery using this new cell could break the 1,000-mile barrier without relying on technological gimmicks like auxiliary regeneration systems or over-the-top software optimizations. It would be raw, simple, and straightforward autonomy. This changes the way consumers view the car. It stops being a vehicle that requires constant planning and becomes a machine of total freedom. It's no longer about where to charge, but if you need to charge during the day. And we're not just talking about luxury models. This technology can be used to reduce the size of battery packs in smaller models. This makes the car lighter, consumes less energy, and costs less to produce. Instead of increasing the range, it's possible to maintain the same 400 or 500 kilometers of range and cut costs on materials, assembly, and interior space. It's like having a smaller, more fuel-efficient engine, but with the same power. This opens the door to a whole new line of more affordable and efficient electric vehicles. Another real possibility, and one that Elon Musk is certainly already considering, is to apply this technology to the new generation Tesla Roadster. This car has been promised with almost unrealistic numbers. Speeds of over 400 km to h, acceleration from 0 to 100 km to h in less than 2 seconds, and a range of over 600 miles. With traditional batteries, this would be difficult to achieve without compromising weight and space. But with lithium metal cells, these promises become perfectly feasible. And in this scenario, the Roadster would stop being just a show car and become a real threat to supercars powered by fossil fuels. Tesla's breakthrough, powered by Cattle's lithium-ion battery, has the potential to shake up the global automotive market. So far, many traditional automakers have treated electric vehicles as an experimental niche. Meanwhile, Tesla is positioning itself as the leader of an inevitable revolution, with the potential to deliver cars with three times the range, lighter weight, and potentially lower cost, the company could completely reconfigure the industry. This goes beyond mere competition. It's a paradigm shift, where the rules of the game are no longer combustion versus electricity, but rather extreme efficiency versus obsolescence. If today, for many people, autonomy is the main reason for hesitation when it comes to exchanging a gasoline car for an electric one, this concern can disappear. With batteries capable of delivering 800 to 1,000 miles per charge, there is no longer room for so-called range anxiety. And once this fear disappears, the appeal of electric cars grows exponentially. It is the kind of change that makes the average consumer reconsider everything. Even that skeptical uncle who always said that electric cars are for rich people who live near the mall will want to know more. Furthermore, the weight savings provided by these new batteries have a cascading effect that benefits the entire vehicle. Lighter cars require less effort from the electric motor, which extends the life of the system and reduces wear on tires and brakes. This, in turn, reduces maintenance costs. And all of this without taking into account the gain in interior space, since a more efficient battery takes up less volume. A compact car can suddenly become more spacious on the inside, without growing an inch on the outside. This even changes the driving experience. And speaking of overall impact, 
It is important to remember that the arrival of these new batteries comes at a strategic time. Several countries have already announced deadlines to ban the sale of vehicles powered by fossil fuels, with dates around 2035. The industry urgently needs solutions that allow for a real, scalable and sustainable transition. And a battery with this energy density could be just the push that was needed. Because it is not enough to just have an electric car in the catalog, it needs to be good, cheap, safe and desirable. And with this new technology, this becomes increasingly possible. It's interesting to note how Tesla, which was already a few years ahead in the development of powertrains and management software, now also has an advantage in the most physical and fundamental part of an EV, the battery. This completes the circle. The company would no longer depend on external innovations or emergency adaptations. It would have complete control over all aspects of the product. And that, in the automotive world, is a superpower. No wonder investors and analysts are already watching. The possibility of a thousand-mile Tesla could impact everything from the company's stock price to the strategy of giants like Volkswagen, Ford, and Toyota. In this electrifying context, it is impossible to ignore the emergence of an alternative that, until recently, was seen as secondary, almost experimental. Sodium ion batteries. While metallic lithium promises maximum density and high performance, sodium comes with a different proposal, more affordable, more stable, and surprisingly efficient. And guess who is behind this advancement too? Yes, cattle itself, which decided not to bet everything on a single card. It is paving the way on two fronts, and the second of them could be even more disruptive for the average consumer. Naxtra batteries, as they are called, do not compete directly with lithium metal batteries in terms of energy density. With their 175 WH Quader, they still lag behind LFPs and are far behind 4680 cells. However, what they lack in power, they make up for in cost and versatility. One of the biggest attractions is the price, up to 30% cheaper than lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are already known for their good value for money. And this is not just an optimistic estimate. We are talking about real numbers, obtained with raw materials that are much more abundant and easier to extract than lithium. Sodium is the sixth most abundant element in the Earth's crust, found in salt, ordinary soil, and just about everywhere you look. And unlike lithium, which relies on heavy mining and suppliers located in a few countries, sodium is ubiquitous. This not only reduces the price of the battery, but also reduces supply chain risks. In a world increasingly concerned about geopolitical stability and industrial security, this makes all the difference. It's like trading a rare and volatile material for something reliable and abundant, a real find. But what really caught the eye in Naxtra's development was its charging speed. In tests, a charge of just five minutes was enough to guarantee 310 miles of autonomy. Yes, you read that right, five minutes.